Ichiwa, this is the Shogunstein, and this is a look at the Eureka Flash powerful, lightweight, corded stick vacuum that we were given from the Amazon Vine program to try out. So again, in uh, full disclosure, we got a uh, vacuum from Amazon Vine to test out. Now here on the Shogunstein YouTubes, we review a lot of uh, different products. We review... Uh, Books, music, board games, sometimes some exercise equipment, shoes. But some of my biggest videos are vacuum cleaners. So here's another vacuum cleaner. So that's what the, the public wants. The public will get more vacuum cleaner reviews. I think we have another vacuum cleaner coming also. People love vacuum cleaner uh, reviews, I guess. My board game reviews, sometimes I get five, six views. Uh, I have a vacuum cleaner with like 11,000 views. So vacuums, very important here. We live in the desert southwest. We get a lot of uh, dust. And then we have Miss Mushu over here who uh, sheds. So we got a lot of dog hair from Miss uh, Mushu. So uh, when we vacuum, we want to see how much of that stuff we can get up, especially, again, the, the dust and the, uh, the dog hair. So this is the Eureka Flash. I saw on Amazon it's going for about $125. It comes with the Eureka Clean Promise. It uh, converts to a hand vacuum. Now, it is a corded, so it's plugged in. Um, I know the vacuum I use currently is a cordless. I believe the other vacuum they're sending us uh, next week is also going to be a cordless. So I'm not used to uh, plugging in a vacuum uh it's been a while since we've plugged in a, a vacuum. It's got LED lights. And you can see there, there are the, the lights. Fingertip control. Got your headlights. Two-in-one dusting brush and crevice tool. And again, just some more about the, the vacuum. So it's deep clean, so it does... Uh, uh, the hard floor as well as the carpet. It's got swivel steering and under furniture reach. And again, you can uh, take it off the, uh, the stick and use it as a uh, handheld uh, vacuum. So the uh, attachments come here. There's also a, a dock for the, uh, the vacuum. Now, I will tell you that uh, the plastic quality here is uh, pretty cheap. It's not very, uh, I wouldn't say it's very solid at all, especially the little base that the wheels go into. So the uh, material is kind of meh. And I'd say the same thing about the the actual build of the, the vacuum. Uh, the component, it's very light, but I guess in being very light, the, uh, you know, the, the material is not, uh, seems kind of cheap, uh, Cheap material, in my, my opinion. But again, maybe that's because uh, to keep it light and to make it handheld, you got to use lightweight stuff. But it does kind of feel flimsy. Now, the uh, it is bagless, but the uh, little dust cup is fairly small. Again, as it uh, is got a handheld feature as well, the dust cup is pretty small. And in just... Testing out the vacuum here in, uh, what I do, maybe three rooms, I had to f empty the dust cup three times. Now, again, we have a lot of dog hair because of Ms. Mushu. We have dust because of the, the desert. But I didn't think the house was uh, that dirty that we were filling this thing up. So uh, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, it is a small little dust bowl. Other thing that's kind of weird is... The kind of like exhaust comes out over here, but when you're using this as an upright, and again, be different if you're using it as handheld, this is blowing at you. It's kind of blowing the warm air at you as you're vacuuming, which is a little weird. Again, when you're using it handheld, that's not the case. So I got to wonder if this is the main use for this is really more for the handheld function than the actual stick. Now the suction seemed very good because it was getting up a lot of the dog hair and uh, the dust. And again, we filled up uh, three of those uh, 
we filled up uh, three three times the the dust bowl here um, with all the stuff it sucked up. So there is good suction, but overall, it just kind of feels kind of cheap. And then one time, you know, when I was uh, changing the the little dust bucket here, and it uh, it it fell, the vacuum fell. I, I was worried that it was actually going to break because, you know, it, it is kind of, you know, uh, not the, the best uh, material here. It just feels very kind of cheaply made. And again, the vacuum is at $125. Uh, I would have maybe thought it would, uh, the construction would have been a little, little better. But it does have a lot of suction in it. Also, what I don't like is how the power cord is here and then how it kind of the way it wraps it's easy for it to to kind of move over and just kind of get in the in the way so i don't like how it the power cord starts up here and then again you're going to store it you're going to wind it up over here and when you're using it as a a stick um it can and get in the way. They give you a decent amount of cord here, um, so that was nice. You know, there's a lot of uh, length to the the amount of uh, extension. You know, the cord they give you here, so it uh, that that's good. But again, the actual, you know, little extra tools they give you, again, very kind of cheaply made. But um, I did find using it on the the hard floors that it got up uh, the the stuff that was there, which was good. And the swivel steering was, was, was good. And again, it did get a lot of stuff. But again, it fills up very quickly also. So this is the Eureka Flash uh, vacuum. Again, uh, we got it from the Amazon Vine to, to test out. And I would appreciate that. It does seem to, again, to have, um, it does seem to be powerful. I'll give it that. And it is lightweight. I'll give it that. I just have some issues with the, uh, just seems like the material that it was made with is kind of cheap. I don't like that this thing is, is blowing hot air at you when you're vacuuming. And it just seems the, the dust bowl here, the little dust cup, is uh, a little too too small. So that's a look at the Eureka Flash vacuum cleaner. This is the Shogunstein out.